Hi, now you have come to part C of this entire experiment and you notice that the filtration we are using actually the residue and it's not easy to actually make the residue go all the way down to the test tube. Uh, to me, it's not easy. So when you're doing it, if you find difficulty, do not give up. This is experiment. It's going to get dirty and it's not going to be a little bit smooth at times but as long as you don't give up and just just keep on trying and write down the observation you'll be fine well next part coming up which is our final part are we ready let's begin using a spatula carefully transfer about half of the moist residue z from the filter paper into a clean test tube so i have a clean test tube over here and this is my moist z wow can you see that z is actually a dirty green uh very dirty green uh residue but the side here is actually reddish brown uh, a bit of not reddish brown i'm sorry it's actually about yellowish uh, brown gently tap the test tube on the bench to force the precipitate to the bottom of the test tube so um, i'm going to fold this is for the z part okay so i'm going to write down z and then to this at about 2 cm depth of h2so4 which is sulfuric acid down the side of the test tube down the inside of the test tube you should try to avoid disturbing the precipitate too much do not shake the test tube so over here because you're adding uh, sulfuric acid um, let I always say adding acid the, the chance of it testing for an anion is high which is none other than this portion here adding acid okay is actually my uh, carbonate test over here so I'm going to write down over here CO2 test for carbonate all right so um this is my z and i'm going to put it over here next part i'm going to prepare my lime water uh, why because the chance of having carbon dioxide evolve is really high so i'm going to have my calcium hydroxide and be a little bit more kiasu okay so um let me put all this aside all the clutter aside okay and then add my lime water over here Okay, so, uh, and then they say observe the tube for about a minute, shake the test tube until no further changes uh, are seen. Okay, so that is this portion here. And then next portion, at transfer about 1 cm, okay, of this into a clean test tube. And then this part, you add sodium hydroxide. Okay, do it with shaking uh, without further changes seen. Now, I noticed that they add sodium hydroxide. This is actually a test, a cation test. Okay, so I'm going to leave it as it is now. So let's take a look at uh, behind what are you looking for. True enough, you are actually trying to deduce the identity of Z. And you have to know the cation and the anion. And this part are the cation. And this is none other than my anion. So um, let's start, since we have already prepared everything, and let's start the execution. But, but let me take a look at uh, behind. Okay, behind I all answer your question. I can come back to it later. So right now, let's just focus on this part scraping of this whole thing now i don't need my calcium hydroxide already so i'm going to put it back take up my sulfuric acid because i do need that in a short while okay now this part is to scrape my z out so i'm going to take this okay they say going to slowly scrape this out and then place it right over here into my test tube Okay, later on, uh, you notice that this is like exactly what they say. You have to scrape it gently, all right, and then tap it on the table. Be careful, don't break your test tube, okay? Now, whatever that you're struggling with in your GCEO level exam doing this scraping part, I understand fully, okay, because it's really not easy. Okay, it's not like you can practice this at home, but well, there's also the fun part about doing practical.
Okay, now I'm supposed to add my sulfuric acid. Okay, down. Okay, down the inside of the test tube. Basically, I think they wanted to wash it down. So. Okay, uh, I see gas forming, bubble through the lime water, okay, but they say do not shake the test tube, so I'm not shaking it, but hopefully that, um, because by not shaking, hopefully my lime water will turn. You notice that every time when I add acid to it, I will always uh, shake the test tube because the reaction will be faster. But there is, I think there's a very good reason because later on you are supposed okay, to transfer about 1 cm depth of the mixture into a clean test tube. Before you add sodium hydroxide, the solution has to be clear. If the solution is not clear, there's no point that you add sodium hydroxide. Okay, So I have to be very cautious. Oh, but the lime water, I don't know, is it my, uh, is it, I don't know whether you can see, but from my side, I can clearly see that it's slowly giving a, okay, it's slowly turning to a white precipitate. They are still giving off the uh, gas, so I'm going to let the gas bubble through. Be patient with it. The effervescent is really obvious just now, so... My side, I can see a slight white precipitate, but like I always say, okay, there is a chance that you will not get it, okay? So I'm going to bring, put it back, but because the effervescent produces really huge, so I can quickly say it. Now, over here, I can say that residue Z is a 30 green PPT upon adding H2SO4, effervescent, E-F-F-E-R-V-E-S-C-E-N-C-E -E 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 is observed. Okay, I did not shake the test tube. Uh, over here, I can see that it's, uh, a, the, the solution on top of it. Okay, I don't know whether you can see. It's a slightly pale green solution. So I'm going to write down a pale green solution is observed okay so i'm going to go on to pour this out the solution out okay and then over here i'm going to add they say sodium hydroxide so sodium hydroxide over at this part 30 green precipitate is formed a little bit add some more 30 green precipitate to not dissolve in excess okay so okay now you notice i do it pretty fast over here why i will explain to you in a while so over here transfer about one cm of this mixture okay mixture is a pale is pale green in color okay upon adding and a OH, a green PPT was observed. Okay, in excess of an AOH, green PPT do not dissolve. Okay, guys, some of you are thinking that, but you add a little bit only, Miss Alina. Come on, in your QA notes here, 
they clearly say sodium hydroxide green PPD insoluble in excess. Let's not waste time in trying to prove things that they've already written down. Okay, let's be exam smart. So we have finished the execution part and uh, the, prep, the, the next part that we're going to come out is the conclusion. So I'll see you back. Yes, we have finished part C already. Now it's the most important portion which is the portion of part D, the entire conclusion part. So do not just give up and stop watching here. Please move on to watch my next video to capture and understand how exactly is the right way to answer the conclusion okay